Welcome to the version 17 walkthrough. It is important to us that we don't overwhelm existing customers who are familiar with our software. Let's start with a quiz. Try to find the changes in the main program window. Okay, most will probably miss the auto text and hotkey assignments. To get more space for your extra phrase contents, it is now collapsible, so you can expand and collapse the trigger section. And here we'll also find the first new feature, the output target. By default, PhraseExpress pastes the phrase into the application, which currently has focus. You now have choices. You can define a specific program. You can paste the phrase contents into the clipboard for further use in your other applications. Or you can have PhraseExpress write the contents into a text file. Or you can email it. In this case, the description becomes the subject and the phrase contents becomes the body of the email. Then we shifted the search box into the ribbon section to follow the Microsoft Office guidelines. When you search for text, it will highlight the matches inside the phrase content. A new macro under date time is time calculation, which allows you to calculate the difference between two times. And you can output it in a custom format. We cleaned up the file menu and you will find the new migration assistant which allows you to save all settings and all data, including your phrases, into a single migration file. This allows you to move your entire installation to a new computer with just a few clicks. To restore the migration file, just double click and confirm. And all settings and data will be restored. You can also use this feature to create backups. We put a lot of efforts into the AI section. When opening the settings, you will find under AI Text Processing that we now support not only OpenAI, but also gpt for all which is an AI engine which runs locally on your computer. So there is no need for internet access and you can select from a variety of language models. Also for the gpt for all engine, you can use the custom presets as known from version 16. And you can also use custom instructions known from ChatGPT. You can also select the desired language translation engine. So you can not only use DeepL, but also OpenAI for translation of your phrases or GPT for all. You can define words which you don't want to have translated. And you can create multiple glossaries for each set of languages to maintain a consistent translation. Another major new feature is that you can now store files into your phrase library as an independent copy. These files will be synchronized with your other team members. And you can use the files, for instance, as a file attachment for emails. Here we have a phrase, which creates an email. And you can use the file we just stored in PhraseExpress as an attachment. PhraseExpress and Marker Recorder, our automation solution, is a great team, and we improved the seamless experience. You can now trigger phrases directly out of Marker Recorder. To do that, simply drag and drop phrases from PhraseExpress into Macro Recorder, and the phrase will be executed by Macro Recorder on Macro Playback. You can now also exchange variables between PhraseExpress macros and Macro Recorder macros. There's a lot more to explore. Try the new version now.